Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys another IBA video. This time, we are going up against Zombie and his Portland Poplios. Last time, we went up against Steven and his Hartford Wilmers in a really, really good game. But unfortunately, we did fall a little bit short, uh, and now we are sitting at 0 and 3. And before we get into it, I do want to talk about two things. Obviously, first of all, make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. And while you're down there, please check out Zombie. I do want to talk about Zombie for a second. Zombie is one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's one of my best friends. He is one of the other commissioners of the NCP. I'm sorry it's thunderstorming. You might hear it outside, but he's one of the other commissioners of the NCP. And without him, the NCP would completely and utterly fall apart. He does so much around the community. It's ridiculous. He's in like 17 leagues or something stupid, absolutely stupid. But he participates in every league. He uploads for every upload required league. He is one of the most dedicated people I've ever met. And even when luck doesn't go his way he still just has fun with pokemon and i really really uh, admire him in that sense like zombie's just such a good guy in that sense and i haven't actually ever got to battle him so i'm really looking forward to this i don't know we have we have not the best matchup i think i think we both of us have some mods that do okay but i'm actually really looking forward to this just because zombie is like He's so nice, man. He's one of the, he, like I said, one of the other commissioners at NCP, one of the most dedicated people I've ever seen. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. With that being said, I also haven't recorded in about a week. And I'm sorry, I, like, the uploads still go normal, so it's nothing different for you guys. But I have a lot of backload, I guess, of videos that I really need to get done that I haven't gotten done because I kind of just don't have any motivation right now, man. Like, I try to separate YouTube from real life because YouTube is my escape from real life, but real life's been catching up to me, man. So, um, if any videos are late, that's why I might make an entire, if videos get so late, I'll make an entire video talking about that. But just, just know that right now, like, it's a little bit of a struggle right now. So just, just, I'm sorry if some videos are a little bit late. That being said though, the focus right now is Zombie. So against Zombie here, Zombie does have a very, very scary team. He has Mew, Gudra, Nidoqueen, Queen, Slow King, Torkoal, Zeb Strikeout, Mega Houndoom, Tapu Bulu, Klefki, Mian Shout, and a Bufalon. He has some of my favorites. He has Zeb Striker, he has Tapu Bulu, he has Yike. Zombie actually has a bunch of my favorite Pokemon. He's got Gudra, obviously. He's got Torkoal. He's got Zebby. He's got Mega Houndoom. He's got a really, really cool team, but also a really scary team. So uh, his Emons are Mew and Bulu, and it's just it's going to be very, very difficult to deal with. As far as the mods I do think Zombie is going to be bringing, I think the only mod that is not going to come is Tapu Bulu. I think, you know, we have Teeny for that. We have uh, Hydreigon, which he could bring, you know, Dazzling Moon for, I guess. Kind of like a special Bulu. Uh, I could definitely see that, I guess. But he has Klefki, so I don't really see a reason. We have Skarmory, which is one of the two best uh, Bulu checks in the game next to Celesteela, and I don't know, like, I think every Pokemon can definitely come except Bulu. I think Bulu makes absolutely no sense, but if he does bring Bulu, we are not underprepared for it to the point where I think we just lose. So we are running a really, really weird, really cool team this week. We're running Tailwind and Trick Room this week because I couldn't decide on a six Pokemon. I really like the first five I had. I had, you know, uh, you know, obviously Mawai was the first one I put on there, and then I had four others that I really, really liked, and then I couldn't decide on the last one, so we decided on Jellison, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, and I decided Trick Room was probably the wave on it, so we'll talk about this in a little bit, but this is a really, really weird team, but I'm really hoping this can work, because like I said, this is my favorite team to prep with. I absolutely love this team. So the first mod that we have here is going to be obviously Miss Dusa, the Mawai. She's been carrying us so hard this season hopefully she'll carry us to our first dub this week we are rocking rock slide play rough knockoff and fire fang two rock slides can actually kill torkoal if we call the switch in uh, obviously play rough does just never has a switch in and then we have knockoff because we never oko the slow king uh, regardless of anything and it gets fire blast it gets scald and i'm really worried about that so i want to knock off that monster items we can also hit the mew with knockoff and um I think that that it's worth having that move slot. I think I had Sucker Punch there for a minute, but I think having Knockoff is a little bit more important, just in case he's like set up Mew or something like that. I expect him to be defensive Willow Mew, but if he is set up Mew, then we do have Knockoff with that. And then our last move was a toss up again between Sucker Punch and Fire Fang. I really wanted both of them, but you can't have five moves, so I decided to go for Fire Fang because Zombie has the Sun, and one of Zombie's best switches to us is going to be the Clef Key, and we don't touch the Clef Key with the other three moves. That we have play rough does like 
after reflect i think it's a four hit ko or it might be a three hit ko like it's nothing nothing crazy nothing crazy right so i wanted a way to oko the cleft key and i think firefang can do that i'm pretty positive i don't know if it was through reflect but i firefang can oko it in some fashion and we also have it for the bulu there because i didn't want another situation like last week where we can't oko the nihi lego uh we can actually oko the bulu with firefang we can actually oko a pokemon that we wall so that's really really cool and as far as our EVs go, we can outspeed the Mega Houndoom under Tailwind, which is really cool. I that, I don't think that allows us to outspeed the Zepstrika, which I might change actually. Now we outspeed the Zepstrika under Tailwind, which is so cool. And then, you know, obviously, I'm pretty sure we underspeed most things under Trick Room. Let me just... We all speed the zero speed Bulu under Trick Room, which is really cool. So at anything faster than that, we can under speed. So the only things that we don't under speed is like Slowking and Torkoal and Bufalon. So we are sitting really, really nice with this Ma Wild. The next mom we are going to have here is going to be Sally Like and Rock Dusk. Uh, specifically so, so we don't lose to Mega Houndoom late game. We are rocking Expert Belt, a Cellar Rock, Stone Edge, Drill Run, and Crunch. This allows us to hit the most mods on his team. You know, a Cellar Rock plus Stone Edge is obviously our stab, so you know, it's hardest hitting on most things. We have Drill Run specifically for the likes of Klefki, and I really debated going Fire Fang because I really think he's going to be Magnet Rise Klefki, but it also allows us to hit the Nidal Queen, so I just I decided to stay with Drill Run, and then we do have Crunch for the Slow King as well as the Mew. We have enough speed down speed the Mian Shao, and that's because Drill Run actually did a lot more to it than you would think and then we have the rest of the attack and you know rock friendly number of hp and sally's whole point this game is to be a breaker it's to give in and to do damage it's not to sweep late game it's not to do anything like that it's just to get in do damage weaken things for our other pokemon our next Pokemon is going to be the only switching that we have in two Mega Houndoom in the sun, and that's going to be Hydreigon. And Hydreigon here has a V. We are rocking Fire Blast, Earth Power, Dragon Rush, and Crunch. A really, really cool set. And you'll notice that we're actually no beneficial nature. And this set is really, really cool, really dope. I love Hydreigon because of how diverse it can be. But what this Mon does is we can outspeed the Max Speed Gudra. I don't think he'll be Max Speed Gudra, but his speed tiers are all around that 77, 79, 80 range. So there's not really a point in speed creeping in case he does max on any of them and it is very very important that we outspeed that max speed Gudra. so i'm good so we outspeed max speed Gudra guaranteed we live two fire blasts in the sun from mega houndoom and if you guys don't know how ridiculous that is mega like uh, to a max hp hydragon in the sun it, it to it ko is guaranteed i think it does like 60 min like houndoom is a stupid good mod we have enough attack to oko is zero hp Gudra of dragon rush we went dragon rush over draco meteor because Gudra is a very scary threat and i really feel like being able to oko that mod is going to be very very important being able to keep this hydragon as healthy as possible is going to be very very important and then we are rocking out with crunch to hit the mew in case he has a calm mind variant which is a set that I could see him bringing, if not a Will the variant, and we also hit the Slow King harder on the physical than the special side. So, really, really cool set. And for EV efficiency, we don't go plus plus any nature, which is so cool. Like, I love this Hydreigon set so much. Hydreigon is such a cool Pokemon, and hopefully, we'll be able to put in the finest this game. The next Mon here that we have is going to be Vimon the Victini, another Pokemon that can abuse the not only the tailwind and not only the trick room because of v create but also the sun so victini is an amazing bring this game i was really dead set on this mod we are rocking v create u-turn brick break bolt strike we are rocking with choice band we do have to be careful because houndoom has flash fire before it megas so um we can't just lead it and click v create like i i really really want to unless he doesn't bring mega houndoom for some reason which would be phenomenal but uh we're actually adamant because we can guarantee to it ko the torkoal if max max or it's a roll to two it ko if max max i love that i love that chance let's take that chance so that's not a switch hit he has no switchings on his team to v create sloking is not a switch in torkoal that's not a switch in he does not have a switch in and i'm so excited to click buttons with victini here we are rocking u-turn and just in case like early game i want to lead the mod and he still has houndoom alive something like that because victini is a very possible lead on my end uh, we do have brick break for the screens from the cleft key because we don't need another move besides v create and we're rocking with Bull Strike just in case, you know, late game it's just Big Teeny versus Slow King, and I just want to, you know, bop, just get it out of there. So it is what it is. We have enough speed to outspeed the max speed. I want to say Gudra. We do have enough speed to outspeed max speed. Gudra will be our max adamant. We're a rock friendly number of HP, and Big Teeny is out here, man. Our next month is going to be Glide Score, and I bounced between a ton of different sets for this Glide Score. At one point, it was an offensive. Um, agility, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, Swords Dance set, I think, is what I had. Or maybe Agility, Roost, Dual Stab. Like, because 
Gliscor just does phenomenal this game, man. You look at his team, you look at Gliscor, and it just, like, his dual stabs just shred through everything. But, because of how confident I was that he was not bringing Bulu, I decided a more defensive Gliscor was going to be more appropriate, because Monwile under Tailwind just doesn't have a switch in. So I really wanted to capitalize on that. So we are rocking with Tailwind over the Aerial Ace that I did have before. We have Earthquake to hit basically every Pokemon. He does not have a Levitating Pokemon, actually, which is really cool. His only, his closest thing he has is Magnet Rice Klefki, which if he sends in Klefki, on Gliscor, we're gonna know that he's gonna click Magnet Rice, so we're gonna get out of there. We have Roost for longevity, and we have Stealth Rocks because I, if Vitini's not our lead, this is our lead, and we want to get Rocks up. We want to get Rocks up as soon as possible because Rocks are very, very important in this game. Because chipping down the Mega Houndoom as much as physically possible is going to be best case scenario. And we aren't rocking Defog because I don't care as much if he has hazards on our side of the field as I do if there are hazards on his side of the field. If you get what I'm saying, like I really want hazards on his side of the field very, very badly. And we are rocking Yachi Berry because I think Nidal Queen is a very good potential lead on his part, and maybe he scarfs, so we are Yachi just to not get Oko. We are Yachi just to not get Oko by, you know, like, I don't know, Slow King Ice Beam, Gouldra Ice Beam, like, whatever he wants to lead. Uh, Gliscor is a pretty safe lead. We pretty much get free rocks this game, which is really, really awesome. As far as our EVs go, we have enough speed to outspeed max speed Gudra. We can Oko the Mega Houndoom with four attack. It's nothing crazy. Uh, we can live a Bulu Wood Hammer after rocks, and we might as well go Yachi, like I said, so it's a comfortable lead. Our last Mon here is the Mon that I'm still not really sold on. It was between this and Breloom. But if we brought Breloom, it did not, it never, never did anything against, um, what's it called, Mew. So I really didn't want to, to put that on myself. And then we were very, very reliant on Tailwind. So I wanted to bring something to not be as reliant on Tailwind, and I think Jellicent can definitely do that. We are rocking Taunt specifically for, like, um, not only the Torkoal, like, to keep keep rocks away but specifically for the clef key because i don't want clef key to get screens up and things like that we are rocking trick room a go out berry and i'll talk about that in just one second but then hydro pump hits his team pretty nicely and toxic for the things that we can't hit with hydro pump which is basically like gudra uh tapu bulu things like that if we do get under the trick room there but the, the whole thing with this set is we can live one dark pulse in the sun after rocks from Mega Houndoom because Jellicent is stupid fat. We get the Aglob Berry back. We do not flinch because Jellicent does not flinch. And then we have Trick Room set. And then that's basically a free Trick Room. And that's that's phenomenal. That's awesome, man. And Jellicent's going to be very, very important in this game as well. I didn't mention this, but he does have Mian Xiao. And Mian Xiao kind of rips through us. Just knock off High Jump Kick. That's all he needs. Uh, maybe Ice Punch too for Glide Score, but that's all he needs. And he kind of rips through it. I don't even know if it gets ice punch now that I'm thinking about it but me and Shao is just such a big problem so I really wanted to keep Jellicent in the back to also spin block the Torkoal that as well but mainly for that Jellicent to make him think twice about clicking high jump kick so we're gonna have some cool mind games there and I think we're gonna have a really fun game guys I'm really gonna try to have more fun with this I know I've been getting a lot really really down on myself uh recently and some friends have told me that so I'm, I'm gonna try to have more fun with this gonna try to be a little bit more upbeat you know things like that I think I can do a good job of that in my videos but we'll see in today's match but with all that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching the team builder and i'll see you guys in just a second with the match okay guys and we are here against zombie and i don't know if i gassed him up enough i probably didn't but zombie is literally one of my favorite humans let me go ahead and put my team in the battle box and make sure we're all good to go it looks like it uh we're gonna go ahead and hop in here and hopefully my wild can do some magic this week but Zombie is literally one of my favorite people, man. So please, 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 please go check him out. Go show him some love. Just talk to him. I don't know, man. Zombie is one of the nicest people I know. One of my favorite people. But we're going to go ahead and hop in this match here. It looks like we got done at the same time. That was pretty cool. But we'll see the, exactly the team that he's bringing here. And how many gifts I have to change. Please be, bring Sun so I don't have to change so many gifts. He did bring Sun. Sun. He did not bring Torkoal. Huh. Okay. So no Torkoal. So maybe... Um... Wow, so he did that because of Victini, probably. So instead, Gudra. And we do see Zeb Striker, so I'm glad I changed my wide speed just in case. Because I was like, nah, he's not bringing Zebby. So we have Gudra, but we don't see Bulu, and I'm very, very happy about that. And actually, Jellison goes crazy this game for no reason. Did he not bring Mian Shao? I thought Mian Shao did phenomenal. I'm really shocked about that. And instead, we see Zeb Striker. Instead, we see Zebby. Okay. So. We'll do that. I might just leave Gliscor and just click Earthquake, honestly. So, no Mian Shao. And instead, we see Gudra. And no... Or, wait. No Mian Shao, and instead, we see Zebi. Zeb Striker. My bad. No Torkoal. And instead, we see... Uh, what mod am I missing? Lucky... Nidoqueen. And instead, we see Nidoqueen. I had a different written down for some reason. 
But as far as the lead goes, yeah, I'm really thinking I like Jellison. Or not Jellison, I'm actually Jellison. Jellison's pretty good too, but I'm really thinking I like Gliscor. I don't think there's a Mon that he can lead to really scare out Gliscor. Or we could just lead Victini and just click a button. But I'm thinking Gliscor's the play. I'm thinking he doesn't really have a whole lot to kind of threaten Gliscor. We can get... We can either decide if we want to get rocks up early, if we want to click Earthquake. Uh, that was my initial idea going into this, so hopefully that'll go through. Uh, Victini isn't looking quite as good as I had originally thought. He's got two mods outspeed us, and Gudra, which probably eats one V-Create, I would assume, if banded. I will check right now, but I would assume Gudra eats, like, one V-Create. Let me see if he's offensive. That's at level 100. Hold on. At level 50. <laughs> Never mind. Never. I'm sorry. I lied. Victini's just so stupid strong. He leads Cerberus, so I'm glad I did not lead Victini. And we are going to be leading Gliscor. And I'm really hoping he thinks that he can Oko us. Let me see, actually, real quick. Gliscor. He doesn't have an Earthquake switch in either way. Gliscor, Houndoom. So I think I'm just going to attack what's in front of us. I think I'm just going to click Earthquake. Or I could just go for the zero downside Tailwind now that I'm thinking about it. Tailwind has zero downsides. Fire Blast. Let me see if HP Ice would Oko us. HP Ice normally would Oko us. Can Earthquake Oko him? Why can Earthquake not Oko him? I think we're gonna click Tailwind. What do I lose in clicking Tailwind? Nothing, really. And if he goes into... What would his switch into this be? Gudra? What do I switch into Gudra? Mawile? Probably... Hmm. We're gonna click Tailwind and we're gonna see what happens because I think we can Tailwind into Earthquake or Tailwind into Roost and we'll be okay. Because we can Roost out the attacks, probably. Or I could just go Hard Hide Dragon. No, you know what? I'm gonna click Earth. How much damage do I do to Gudra with Earthquake? I think that's what decides if I click Earthquake or not. Because I could get a read on Gudra's set, which would be very, very nice, actually. Earthquake does 40. Earthquake does like 50 if he's offensive. So we're just gonna click Earthquake here. We're gonna see what he does. Uh, he actually does stay in, so we get that right. Let me write down the mons on my piece of paper because I have not done that. So Mega Houndoom. It is already Mega, so now we can just kind of freely click V Create. Nidal Queen. Gudra. He clicks Willow. Ah, <laughs> that's really cool, actually. Everybody always does that. That's fine. This Glide Score was not here to be offensive, and I'm super glad we did that then, actually. So Willow. So that that's actually good that we know that. Willow, Earthquake does about half, so that's fine. Willow, uh, who else did he have? Gudra, Mew. I'm not as devastated about this one as I was against Ollie, because the one against Ollie kind of kind of threw me off. This one, not as bad. It's not as bad, because Gliscor was kind of here. I could have got free rocks there, but that's okay. I'm going to click Tailwind this time, I think. Let me wipe off my screen a little bit. I'm going to click Tailwind this time, I think, and we're going to see what he does. Because that's, that, that looks like a roll to 2 a KO. And if he goes, let me see, Gliscor. I'm going to play really recklessly with this Gliscor now, I think, because he might not have a switch into this mod, but like, like to Earthquake, but we're burned now, obviously. So uh, it's a little bit, a little bit iffy. Let me see Houndoom. Houndoom. If we're burned, status burned. That was, that's really cool, Zomp. That's really cool. He probably figured I was going to leave Gliscor. Earthquake. Let me see if that was like standard damage. Honestly? That looks like we got a max roll, if I'm being honest, boys, unless I'm forgetting something. Unless I'm forgetting something, that looks like we got a max roll, so I'm sorry about that, zombie. Unless I gin the wrong glide score, which might happen. I don't know. We're gonna click We're gonna click Tailwind here. I think Tailwind's got no downsides. He can go Gudra. If he goes Gudra, we'll click Rocks, and he can he can Ice Beam us, and then we can Earthquake and get a read on his set, and let glide score go down. I think that's pretty fi fair, because um, glide score's only purpose here is literally to click Tailwind. Or we could keep Tailwind around for later in the match as well. Did he have any rockers or removal? He was Fire Blast, so we'll get a little bit of a read on his set. We can get a Tailwind off, so he does have Fire Blast. That does a lot of damage. Fire Blast. And we are actually going to go right into High Dragon now. We are going to go right into High Dragon. Can Gliscor outspeed? Gliscor outspeeds a lot of his team, so we are going to go right out into High Dragon. High Dragons are dedicated check to this mod, so we'll see what he wants to do. He'll probably click Dark Pulse here, I would assume. And we can get a read on his set based on that. I should have been paying attention to how much damage he did to Glide Score, but that's okay. We'll get a read on his set based on how much damage he goes to hide. He does to Hydra again. Uh, I should have clicked. Was Rocks more important there? I don't think so. Because now we get in Hydra again, and he actually does not have an Earth Power switch in. Now that I'm looking at it, he might go Gudra, and we get a read on his set if he does go Gudra. Gudra. Let's say he's Scarf Draco out of nowhere. Let's say he's Scarf Draco. 
Draco. Scarf Draco we eat, but we do not eat a Scarf Outrage. But can he lock in Outrage? We bring our fairy. We did. He can't lock in Outrage or else Mawai gets a kill, which is so cool. And now he knows the threat of Mawai was there. So we'll see what he does. I would assume he would Fire Blast again, actually. Because if he Dark Pulses and we go Mawai, that's really, really bad for him. He's in a really tough situation. And Mawai kind of claims a few KOs, actually. Um, so Hydreigon. Let me make sure Hydreigon would Oko this mod with Earth Power. Or, uh, like, from 50%. I would assume so. Hydreigon's a very, very strong Pokemon. Mega Houndoom's so cool, man. I love that mod. So, we are going to switch out first. We do have Tailwind up, so I don't think that tells anything. And he... Goes Dark Pulse. If I would've went Mawai, that would've been nuts. That would've been the play of the century. So, Triple Threat. Triple Threat eats that. And Triple Threat has no switches to Earth Power. Earth Power kills from this range. We could also click Dragon Rush and predict. What would he go into? He wouldn't go Klefki on this. We're gonna click Earth Power into Dragon Rush, I think. Gudra. Actually, this mod can't touch us, so I feel pretty safe just clicking Dragon Rush, calling the switch into Gudra, honestly. Or even into Mew. Yeah, we're gonna click Dragon Rush, I think. Let me see, Houndoom. Houndoom. Dragon Rush has a chance to kill from this range. Is that worth the risk? Is that worth the risk? Now we're just gonna Earth Power. We're just gonna click what's in front of us. Don't go Gudra, because now I would have really wished that I would have clicked um, Dragon Rush. He doesn't really have a. He doesn't switch into this mod very well at all. He has three mods weak to ground. Four. He has four mods weak to ground, by the way. So he actually withdraws. Let's see if he does go Gudra. Keychain. Yo, that's not eating this Earth. That's not eating this Earth Power. Hold up. This is not eating this Earth Power unless he's Shuka. He's not Shuka. Let's see. Let's get a read on it. Set. Yikes. That did way more than it should have. And we get a spadef drop. Yikes. That's actually really bad because now we kill through screens. So that's super bad for him. That is very, that's very, very bad for him. So he's actually Fizz Def. He's a Fizz Def Klefki. Fizz Def. And he could give me this mod right now. We are Dark type. So the, the worst he could do is screen us. So I'm just going to click Earth Power. I'm just going to click Earth Power again. We'll see what he does. He doesn't have a switch into this mod. That, that spadef drop was very, very unfortunate. How come Hydreigon is such a monster, man? In this matchup specifically, I did not notice how much of a monster it was. He is going to switch out again. We'll see what he goes into. Diva. What is this? I love Diva so much. Is that Nidal Queen? That's Gudra. Let's get a read on this set. He is going to eat. He's going to take this Earth Power and he's going to take zero. We got a crit too. That's insane. So he took actually zero damage. Okay. Good to know. So does he attack what's in front of him? or not, because we can go hard Mawai here, but I do not think it's the play. Let me see how much Earth Power did, actually. 252 HP. Earth Power did zero. I'm gonna Dragon Rush. Nah, we need this mod to switch into Houndoom, don't we? Yeah. What do I do about this Gudra? What do I do about this Gudra? I think he's gonna Ice Beam. I can just Dragon Rush, and we... I don't die to a Draco. You know what? You've got the move for a reason, John. Click the move. Yikes, dog! Yikes! Now he's gonna know we have Dragon Rush. Oh man, I wish I would have went hard Mawai over there. Yikes! So we are actually gonna. Ah no, because we kill. If he stays in, we kill with Earth. If he doesn't click screens, we kill with Earth Power. Actually, I might just go Mawai for Brick Break. How much does a Mawai? I don't know what Klefki gets to hurt Mawai though. Mawai, Klefki. How much does a Brick Break do to this mod? If we are a huge power. Um, oh, I, don't, I don't have Brick Break on Mawai. I have it on Klefki. Got it. So how much does a Brick Break from Victini? Or I have it on Victini. Excuse me. Victini Brick Break should KO from this range. Even with screens up. Does it break through screens automatically? It does. We're going to go hard into Victini. And we're going to click Brick Break. And we're going to see what he does. And he might. No, he, he cannot Thunder Wave. So we'll see what he does. So Gudra is very, very, very specially defensive. Very, very, very spadef. And if you paralyze Victini, it's not the worst thing in the world because we could, we have Trick Room. So he goes play rough. So we could have just killed that Mon there. He did 11, he did 21%. And he, he lowers our attack, which actually sucks a lot because now I don't know if we kill through screen. And now I don't know if we kill at all. But now I get, actually, you know what? I get to click recreate for free. Where's my stylus? I might have to U-turn, actually. Mm. I get a click, I get a click V-create here, don't I? Actually, he forgot to... 
He left his switch in the VQA at home. We can always bring this in and uh, brick break in a second. What's the worst case scenario? I V create. What's he going to? Middle queen. Get rocks up. Goes Mew. We have Mawa. We have High Dragon. We have actually Mew would be a problem. Hmm. Well, he's not gonna play rough again. Let's see light screen though. I'm just gonna go into High Dragon. I don't think he he's not gonna play rough again. I'm gonna go High Dragon. He's not gonna play rough again. He might Thunder Wave. We'll see what he does. Or he might hard switch out. We'll see what he does. I think High Dragon's zero downside. He withdraws. Do we get any play right? Gudra. I'm clicking Dragon Rush again. I do not care. We'll, we'll, we'll be stuck in this infinite cycle, man. I'm clicking Dragon Rush again, man. Our High Dragons, you know, they already have that 2020 vision. We have Bruno in the APA Little Cup Wi-Fi. We've got everything, bro. We got everything. Triple Threat is here. He has perfect vision. We're not going to overplay because we can actually kill that Klefki. I don't know. How, I don't understand how he's playing with that Klefki because we could have killed that Klefki. He might just want to give it to us. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. But we're clicking Dragon Rush here, man. Our High Dragon can see he's got perfect vision. You already know. He's got six eyes, man. This High Dragon has really, really good vision. We'll see how he does. Triple Threat, my boy. He is a well-trained Mon. We'll see what he does. I love Diva. I love that nickname so much. I love Gujar so much. So that's a really good nickname. But we'll see what he does here. I got Dragon Rush for a reason, man. You gotta click buttons sometimes. You gotta click buttons sometimes. He withdraws. Let's go into keys. Unfor unfortunate. We couldn't risk that. But now, we gotta click Earth Power for zero downside. We gotta click Earth Power for zero downside. I'm very confused on how he's playing this Mon. We're just gonna click Earth Power. High Dragon kinda just claims a button. Unless he's Scarf? Clef Key? <laughs> Which would be actually kind of wild. How much does he do to High Dragon if he's Scarf? 109 to 130. He kills us if he's Scarf. If he's Scarf, then cool prep, I guess, Zombie, but that's so weird. Actually, does he even outspeed us if he's Scarf? No, because he's very physically defensive, so he would not actually outspeed us if he's Scarf, unless he is at least 20 speed investment, based on the High Dragon that we are. But a normal High Dragon, how much speed would he have to be to outspeed a normal High Dragon of Scarf? Let me see. He'd have to be at least... I don't think he has enough EVs, based on how much damage we did earlier. He'd have to be like 100 and... let me see... 124. I don't think he has enough EVs. We're just going to click Earth Power. This thing should perish. He might have been trying to give me this much. Yeah. A dragon kills Klefki with Earth Power. That's our lad, bro. That's our lad. So Hydragon got one. Hydragon's a good boy. He could, he does not have a mod to deal with Hydragon very, very well. Hydragon got one. Klefki has not one. So next time Gudra comes in and we have Hydragon in on Gudra, we can click Dragon Rush and there's no switchings. He actually does not own a switch in. If he goes Mew here, that screams D Gleam. So I'm gonna go hard into. What do I even have for that? Hard into Mawile, I guess? Hard into. Maybe hard into Jellicent to click Trick Room. Because the hard Mawile wouldn't make sense, because I think he's gonna be a Willow variant. Mew. Let me see here. Actually, we might be able to chew. I'm not gonna lie. We might be able to chew one D Gleam from this, uh, from this Mew, because he does not know that we are AV. He's seen. He's seen Earth Power, he's seen Dragon Rush, he has not seen any other move. Crunch only does 50% to Mew though. Actually, that's if he's Fizz Def, or if he's physically defensive, yeah. We do, we can't even, two, we barely 2 co Mew, which is kind of disgusting. Which is kind of disgusting. And I don't really want High Dragon to get burned either, because we need Dragon Rush for the Gudra. Which can't Oko otherwise, Gudra's very, very annoying this game. But, at the same time, we are also weakening everything and putting everything in range of Victini, which is really awesome. Which is really awesome. And even Mawile. Mawile might not even have to hit the field if we play this right with Victini. Which is kind of nuts. But Zombie can still win, actually. Zombie still has Mew, and Mew is very, very difficult to deal with right now. Mew's kind of the only Pokemon that I would say is, like, gives us a hard time. Is this the Nidal Queen? We are going to absolutely blow this thing back when we show him that we are AV, actually. Hold on. Let me see how much an Ice Beam does. Ice Beam does half, and we 2 co with Earth Power. Where's my pin go? My stylus. Man, I got about zero reasons to not click Earth Power. What would he... He would. He might expect Victini here. He might click Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave would be a good middle ground, actually. If he has Sludge Wave. Or he might just get Rocks up. He might just get Rocks up. We're just gonna go for Earth Power. We're gonna see what he does. I hope he overplays, but I don't know. That thing dies in two. That's looking to be offensive. And we get a Spadef Drop. That, does, that one doesn't matter. 
And he goes Ice Beam. Okay, and we'll see how much this does. Does it does do about what we expect? It does do about what we expect. And we're just gonna click Earth Power again because he doesn't have a switch in it. And Hide the Dragon claims another one. This Mon is stupid. And if he goes Houndoom, I might give him this Pokemon. Actually, no, because Hide the Dragon is still at speeds like Guja and things like that. But we don't have... A Actually, we have a lot of switch-ins to Houndoom now that we have... Um, now that we know he does not have Sun. Would he click Will-O-Wisp on my Hide the Dragon knowing that I could kill him? I don't think so. I think I could very easily go into Lycanroc the next time he goes into Houndoom. He's probably like, <gasps> he's AV? Like... <laughs> He's probably very, very blown back. He's a very offensive, very offensive middle queen. And he doesn't have a switch into this. If he wants to give me... I don't know. If he wants... To, he could go Mew. I guess that's the only thing. Is he could go Mew here. I should have clicked Crunch now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I should have clicked Crunch. Definitely. Because that... It killed from this range. Unless he's very fizz deaf. Now we're just going to kill this Mon. Awesome. Okay. High Dragon kills middle queen with Earth Power. Cool. So Nidoking Queen goes down, and High Dragon picks up another one. High Dragon's a scary, scary Pokemon. I think he goes Houndoom here, and he could also go Mew. If he goes Mew, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to deal with it exactly. Um, actually, I have no idea how we're going to deal with Mew. I'm not sure why he didn't go Mew in the first place. I'm not sure why he didn't go Mew in the first place. We are very, very specially defensive High Dragon. We've got AV. We chewed a Nidoking Queen hit. High Dragon's putting in the finest this game. High Dragon has no reason to be doing this good. He goes Houndoom. So... Like I said, I am going to go, I think, into uh, Lycanroc here. Let me see how much uh, uh, Houndoom, let me see. He wouldn't raw Willow here. That doesn't make any sense. Because we don't really need High Dragon anymore, right? Like, we have Mawile for Gudra and stuff. So I don't think it makes sense to click Willow here. But even if he does, Lycan Dusk is probably our least useful member. 50. And if we get Lycanroc in, we might actually claim a KO. Yeah, Dark Pulse doesn't OKO. We're going into Lycanroc. And we'll see what he does. I think he clicks Fire Blast here. If he burns us off a of Fire Blast, I'm going to be big upset. And if he clicks Willow, then good play. They're phenomenal play, uh, Zombie. Hidden Power. It's probably HP Ice. HP Ice. Awesome. So now we're in, and we have to click Acceler Rock. But the good news is he does not have an Acceler Rock switch in. So he does have HP Ice. So Lycanroc is in. This is a good Doggo right here. Hopefully he stays in, because I don't know if this would kill if we were not Expert Belt. Let me see. Um, no, it would, it always kills. This always kills. He has no reason to stay in here. He has zero reason to stay in here. Expert belt. And actually, that's because the, the calc is messing up, too. The calc always puts Lycan Dusk at 115 attack instead of 117. And I'm not sure why. It gets it mixed up with the regular Lycan Rock. But it does give us tough claws. So we do 73 min to this High Dragon, or to this Houndoom, excuse me, to this Houndoom. So we are in a phenomenal position in this game right now. Lycan Rock is going to put in the finest right now, I think. I don't know what he could switch into this Mon. Nidoking Queen is dead. Nidoking Queen is gone. He has Gudra, Muse, Upstriker. Let me see how much we do to a Gudra, actually, if he's like max HP. With a Celerock into Stone Edge. How much does that do? That might kill from the range that he was at. He's gonna go Gudra, probably. Mew. Word? A Celerock. As long as we have. That is zero. He's, he's Fizz Death. Okay. He's his death. So we do probably about half with Crunch. But he can kill him. Mm. I think he's gonna Willow here. We're gonna go into Victini. Or we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go Victini. How much does Victini do with like a V create? Oh my gosh, Victini's a stupid good mod. We're gonna go hard Victini. We're gonna see what he does. If he earthquakes, and that's a that's a possibility, he could do about half to us. We'll see what he does. He goes U-turn, actually. Interesting. Okay. You turn on a defensive mute, he got a crit. That's okay. You turn lefties. Defensive. That's interesting. Okay. So if I what what mom was I in with Lycanroc? If I would have just clicked crunch there, we would have got some big damage off. I wish I would have just clicked crunch actually. What did he switch into this? Is it Strika? Gudra? I don't know. He doesn't have a good switch into this. We can oh, I think we can kill the Gudra. Gudra. I'm the way he's playing Gudra really makes me want to say it's Scarf, but I, the damage that we did earlier makes me really think it's AV. If he's max HP, we cannot kill Gudra with V-Create. So if he goes Gudra, I'm going to click U-Turn. And we're going to do we're gonna do 37 to 44% with U-Turn if he's not fit any Fizz Death, which is crazy. If he goes Houndoom, I don't know what I'd do. Houndoom is probably his best play, now that I'm looking at it. 
Houndoom definitely makes the most sense. What do I do about Houndoom? What is my le least useful member at this point? He goes Gudra. Okay, so we're just gonna click U-turn here. We're just gonna click U-turn. And we're gonna, if he's Scarf, so be it, we'll, we'll, we'll find that out. And we get a free switch into Mawile. Unless he clicks Scarf Earthquake, actually. But let me see if that would even kill us from this range. If he's max adamant, because we are a, a decently bulky Victini. If he's max adamant, Earthquake does kill us from this range, likely. 120 out of 181. Actually, no, it doesn't. Ah, it's a really good roll for us. It does max, we have 67%, it does max 68.5. So, we've got a really good chance here to live, even if he is Scarf adamant at, uh, with Earthquake, which would be the thing that he would lock into. And if he does that, we just get into High Dragon, and we just click a button, and we claim a KO, which is awesome. So, we'll figure out what he does here. We do outspeed max speed Gudra. I do think, I do believe, let me double check. That'll be a big oopsie if we don't. We, okay, we go U-turn first, it doesn't matter. So, we do a big chunk, he is Gooey. Okay, Gooey, does, that doesn't matter at all. Gooey. So what Mon do we switch in here? That's the big question. What Mon do we switch in here? Hmm. Let me see how much he would do to Jellicent with like an Earthquake or something. Jellison, he does like 30 to Jellison with Earthquake. I think Jellison's the play. We can go Jellison in Trick Room. And he doesn't have a great switch into Jellison, actually. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Jellison. Jellison's the least important member at this point, too. I'm sorry, Sohan, but you are. So we'll see what he does. He does go Earthquake, so that's what I figured. And we'll see if he's banded or not, based on this damage. He should do about 30 if he's max adamant. That's, that's, looking, that's looking to be about max adamant. 207 minus 149. That's about 58. Uh, and his damage outputs... Did include 58, so he is max adamant. Max adamant. Which is expected. I could have went head dragon there, but it was not worth the risk. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trick room, I think. I'm gonna trick room, I think. Yeah, I am going to trick room. And we'll we'll see what happens here. He goes Thunderbolt. Okay. Thunderbolt. We eat those, and Cursed Body, and Thunderbolt's disabled, phenomenal. So we are going to go ahead and Trick Room here, and I'm actually going to click Toxic, I think, this time, because Thunderbolt didn't look like it put us in range to die, and it, he does he can't click it again anyway, so we'll see what he has to click. He probably has to click Draco, so I kind of want Jellison to go down so we can get Mawile in for free. So I really hope, and if he if not, then he goes Mew, and we get a Toxic off on Mew, which is literally the best case scenario. Literally the best case scenario, but we do get it off on the Gudra. Can he kill us from this range? We got the Toxic off, phenomenal, let me write that down. And he clicked Earthquake. So we'll see what he, we'll see how much this does. Does this KO me? I don't think so. Nope. And we get the Igua Berry, awesome. So, Jellison is sitting in a pretty good position here. Uh, I forgot about the Igua, I forgot about the Igua Berry if I'm being honest. Um, I think I can go Gliscor here, Gliscor, Gliscor is not a good pivot. Let me see what I can do here. How much does Max Adamant Earthquake Oh, you know what? He's not max adamant. He's he's just max. He's max attack. He is not max adamant. I don't know why I thought max. I have I have timid written down actually. So let me see if he still does 58 if he's not max attack, or if he's not timid. No. So he's he's a lot of attack investment. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, what's the best pivot here? Hmm. Glass Square can still set up a trick room on a lot. We have intimidate Mega Mawile. And if we are a regular Mawile. And we are in a trick room, so do we underspeed uh, Gudra? We should underspeed Gudra. And Earthquake does 90 some percent. Wait, wait, wait. 65. I think we go Mawile and we click Play Rough. Because the switch do not exist. So I think that's what we're about to do. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to aggressively go into Mawile. We're going to see what he does. He might just click Draco here, too. We're going to aggressively go into Mawile. And we're going to see what he does. I don't know how much a Fire Blast would do to me or anything like that. Fire Blast. It just goes for the Earthquake. Okay, so this should do like 74 to 88 per er, damage, so about half. It's exactly what it does. Actually, it does a little bit under half, which is awesome. And now we get a Mega, and we get to click uh, Play Rough. Do we get any physical bulk when we Mega? We do. We're going to Mega, and we're going to click Play Rough. If he undersped this Mon, then props to him. We could also just knock off. I think we're just going to knock off just so we don't miss... We're gonna Mega and knock off just so we don't miss, actually. And just in case he like, goes like Mew or something. We'll see what he does. But this should be a KO for Mawile here. 
Unless he undersped this mon, which would be really, really cool. But I don't think he, he doesn't kill us anyway if he did underspeed this mon. Mew. We only do half the Mew with... Oh, wait, that's with, that's with Intimidate. Let me check huge power. We can kill a defensive Mew with knockoff. So that's really cool. So Mawile might quite literally kill three things here. I think we have three turns. We might only have two turns of Trick Room. So we'll see if he undersped, if Zombie had, you know, the pro prep, if he undersped Trick Room Mawile, which would be so cool. I don't think so. I think he outsped Max Speed Mawile. <laughs> that's what I would do. But we'll see here. He did underspeed Mawile. Wow. Okay. We'll see if this kills. If it does, then props to Zombie. That's all you can say, man. It does not. Okay, cool. So undersped Mawile. Underspeed my wife. Ain't nothing out spe underspeeding us now, though. No way is anything underspeeding us now. So cool prep on Zombies' part for sure. Mega Mawile kills Gudra with Play Rough. Why did it freeze? Did not freeze on my DS. I am sorry about that, guys. I don't know. It's not moving now. That's so weird. Oh, I guess I guess my Wi-Fi has crashed for a second. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to cut that out if I remember, but I'm not gonna remember, so I'm, I'm sorry. But he does not have a switch into Mawile. I think we have at least one turn of Trick Room left, so this Mon gets at least one more kill. This Mon at least gets one more kill. Um, Houndoom, because Houndoom doesn't get priority. You can have Extreme Speed, I guess. Zep Strike, it can have. Zep Strike can have Quick Attack, actually. But I think no matter what he does, I'm just gonna click another button with Mawile, and we're gonna see what happens. And we do- Gliscor is the sack at this point in the match, because Gliscor actually doesn't switch in on any Pokemon. Gliscor does not switch in on any Pokemon, uh, and we never get a Tailwind up. I forgot about Zep Strike and how fast that was, so if we need a sack, Zep Strike is definitely the play. So he does go Mute here. New. This should be a guaranteed knockout. Assuming he's not Max Max Bold, this should be a guaranteed knockout. How many turns of Trick Room do we have left? One. Man, sometimes you gotta shoot your shot. Sometimes that shot doesn't work, but sometimes you gotta shoot your shot, man. Sometimes you gotta click your buttons. And if your button is knockoff on a defensive Mew and you have a roll to kill, sometimes you gotta click that button and you gotta see what happens. We click knockoff. Let's see if he's max max bold. He is indeed max max. He's not max max bold! And oh, you gotta crit! You, ah, that might have mattered. Oh, I'm so sorry, zombie, if that mattered. That, that did not matter if he was not max max bold, which I have no idea if he was or not. Ah, I have no idea if he was or not. Ma Me Mega Mawile kills Mew with Knock. If that if that mattered, I'm very, very sorry, Zom. Two, Mew, one. So we gotta get... I don't see how Zombie can win this game now, and I'm very sorry about that if that did matter. But either way, that put it in range of a Lycanroc Dust Crunch, and I, it's looking like Lycanroc can kind of clean this game up for us, honestly. Lycanroc against Houndoom. No, against, I meant to do it against Zebby, against Zeb Striker. How much do we do to Zeb Striker with the Cellar Rock? Oh, we only do 40 with the Cellar Rock. Zeb Striker's got significantly less bulk than I thought, actually, but Lycan Rock just isn't hitting it as hard. We can also just click buttons with Victini at this point in the match, too. I'm so sorry if that did matter, Zombie. Oh my goodness. I still think that, I'm pretty sure we had this game locked regardless, like, because that did a big chunk, and unless he clicked, well, I guess he could have clicked, um... Soft oil. If he clicked soft oil there, I guess that could have been a problem. But I probably would have just clicked knockoff with Mew again, and then we just went into Lycanroc, and we did 60 min with uh with Crunch, I think. Let me double check that. 50. Uh, if he was Max Max Bold, let's say we knocked off, we got like we did like 96 percent. That was the min roll it looked like. Ah, uh, that's if he's no defense. We do at the very worst case scenario, we do 45% min with Crunch from Lycan Dusk. So I think we still would have killed it regardless. He sends out Marty, which is the Zeb Striker. We'll see what he does here. I think he's gonna Volt Switch. He might Volt Switch here. I'm gonna go into Gliscor because Gliscor is not a Pokemon at this point in the match. Gliscor gets outsped by both Pokemon. And if he clicks over he actually, that'd be phenomenal. We can get into something else. But we'll see what he does. We go Mikuru here. Does he click Volt Switch? And is he choice? He clicks Thunderbolt. And is he choice? I'm going to click Tailwind in case he's choiced. I am going to click Tailwind in ca case he is choiced. So let me write that down. Thunderbolt. Because we don't need Gliscor at this point in the match either way if he does end up killing us. Yo, word? Yo, word? For real? We're going to click Tailwind. Now, is he Scarf or is he... Um... 
Specs. I think I'm gonna get Mawai these last two kills. Mawai has earned it, bro. We're gonna click Earthquake. I just should not kill him. We're gonna get Mawai these last two kills, I think. Yep. Does he kill us? I would assume so. Yep. We have Yachi. Does <laughs> that does not matter. Mega Houndoom kills Gliscor with HP Ice. So Mega Houndoom gets one. Gliscor dies. And we're gonna go into Mawai. We're gonna try to kill this Mon. I don't know. We might be able to just click knockoff on this Mon. That's what we're gonna try to do. We outspeed this under Tailwind. You know what? Actually, I didn't think about that. We have a, a lot of speed in this Mawai. Let me see if knockoff would kill this Mon. I would assume it would. Houndoom. Knockoff. If we're huge power. Yeah, knockoff should always kill you, shouldn't it? Huge power. Yeah. We're gonna click knockoff here. Knockoff should always kill this Mon. I love Mawile, bro. I love Mawile. On the off chance that I click player off and miss, he should probably click, I don't know, Fire Blast, I guess? Like, I could have also just went Lycan Rock and got Sally some kills, but man, Mawile's been putting in the finest in this league. So we're gonna get Mawile some more kills if we can get Mawile some more kills. She's gotten two kills every week. She's gotta break her record. Miss Deucey here, good, looking to get three. Should get three, no matter what we do. We can, I don't really think we can mess this up unless we miss a knockoff, which I would not be surprised if that happened, to be completely honest. We do, if he's max HP, we do 20% min, and he is in red, so that is 20%. So Mega Mawile should pick up a kill here regardless. If he goes into Zep Strike, that locks the game anyway, assuming he's Choice Scarf, because we knock it off, and Mega Mawile is going to pick up another kill. Mega Mawile kills Mega Houndoom with knockoff. Awesome. So, three... And the Houndoom has a death. Where's Houndoom? Dope. So, we're clicking play rough here regardless of what item he is. If he... Zep Strike. Zep Strike. Can he lock himself into Thunderbolt and win? I don't think... He never kills Victini. If, unless he specs. I think... Yeah. And we're a Scarf anyway. He can't be both specs and Scarf. Actually, we might even outspeed... He goes Marty. We're clicking play rough here. I think we have to. Mawile. Oh, I was like, why don't we kill? Huge power. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. That's effect spore. That's not huge power. Huge power. We do min 140%. We could actually also click knockoff, and if he's no HP investment, we kill. I'm going to click play rough. Mawile is going to land it. He is Scarf. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Zeb Zebby, Zeb Strika kills Mawile with Thunderbolt. So Zeb Strika is going to pick up the KO there. Tailwind Peter's out. So, actually, this is very scary. Can this Zep Striker reverse me? I don't think so. I don't think he ever kills Victini. If he's modest. No. He never kills Victini from the range we're at. And V-Create does min 204%. So, we're going to go into Victini. And Mawai got three at least this game. And we're going to click V-Create. And that should seal the game, I do believe. And if this somehow, if he sash or something crazy and we, we missped our Mawile, then so be it. We have a Cellar Rock on the, um, on the Lycan Dusk, so that's fine. So we'll see what he does. He does go Thunderbolt here. The only thing that I can see saving him is a crit para. Oh, yikes. That did zero. We land our V-Create and Victini's going to seal this game one. Victini kills Zeb Strika with V-Create. And that's going to do it here, folks. That is going to be game against Zombie. That was a phenomenal game. That knockoff crit definitely sucked. I'm not sure how much it impacted the game. It really depended on how much defense investment he was. Uh, because if he was, like, max HP, like, 100 defense, we had, like, a 96% chance to kill. But he might have been max max. I really want to ask him after the match. But GG to Zombie. Like I said, Zombie is literally one of my favorite people. He's such a good person. And you guys really should go check him out. But we are going to move on to finally get a dub there. Mawile literally puts in the finest week in and week out. And I love that Pokemon to death. I love that Pokemon so, so much. But with all that being said, guys, I think that's going to do it here for me. I'm not sure who we face next week, but hopefully we'll start the comeback season. I heard it's comeback season, so we'll show them what's up. But with all that being said, guys, make sure to answer the question of the day down below. And with all that being said, guys, for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.